Since our last meeting, we've made tremendous progress. And I'd like to say that most of the credit goes to our extremely efficient International Research and Development Committee. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and dedication to our cause. In reviewing this year's progress, let me say that we have been highly effective in conditioning the people's minds to accept our solution to the world's problems. The energy crisis here in the United States was exceptionally successful worldwide, and we expect similar success with our upcoming food shortage. Our labor leaders have made great progress by causing confusion and work stoppages in all areas of the world. Financially, the dollar is being devalued even faster than we could have hoped. Politically, the public has lost total confidence in any form of government. The threat of universal war is a daily possibility. As you know, we ourselves do not need to hold any visible office of leadership. As a matter of fact, it's better that we do not. If we control the finances, news media, food, transportation, energy, we control everything. It is important that you, as world leaders, keep our program before your country. With our World Bank and computer program operation, we now have the capacity to control the financial affairs of every human being on Earth by giving each person his own computer number. Anytime his number is used, we would know his financial situation at once. He could not buy or sell anything without his computer number. It will simplify their lifestyles tremendously. The end result will be a one-world monetary and government system that we alone will control. Yes. What about the people who forget their number, or their cards are lost or stolen? We've made provisions for that. By using this laser imprinter, we can painlessly and permanently affix the person's number to the back of his hand or his forehead if he so desires. The numbers would be easily read by this new ultraviolet scanning equipment. For the purposes of demonstration, I've had such a number imprinted on myself. Once this number is imprinted, it cannot be lost nor can it be changed. Now, are there any questions? What about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance, especially from highly motivated religious groups. But eventually, hunger will cause even the most zealous to conform to our program. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I am concerned about the situation in the Middle East. We've given Russia and Israel a great deal of consideration. Russia is, as you probably already know, considering an invasion of Israel in order to obtain a Mediterranean seaport. Well, our policy is to support such a move and supply Israel with the necessary nuclear weapons to fend off such an attack. The mental conditioning of the Israelis is he has nothing to lose and subsequently will attack the Russians before they can get their planes off the ground. Gentlemen, I believe that within a year, two at the most, our one world government will be a reality. If we continue on our present course, it is my opinion that we could present the devil himself as a world leader and the people would accept him. So how are you gonna stop this 2,000 pound gorilla? We're not. Some breakfast. Well, what do you want for a dollar 98? Besides, what's wrong with Mexican food? does wonders for my waistline. We're not trying to stop them. We just want to warn the people that God's judgment is about to begin. God's judgment? That's a joke. It's not a joke. Hmm, this is good. Of course it's good. Do you think I'd mislead you, Miss Marshall? Do you think I'd mislead you, Mr. Jensen? If you look at the world today, we're speeding down the same paths as the people in Noah's day, Sodom and Gomorrah, Jonah, and the Ninevites. The what? The Ninevites. 
God told John to go and preach repentance to the men of Nineveh. When they repented, God saved them. It was pure and simple. Tell me. What's that? What did Jonah do for three days and three nights in the belly of a whale? I don't know. When I get to heaven, I'll ask him. No, I got you there. But Jonah was no saint. Maybe he didn't make it to heaven. Well, in that case, you can ask him. Sixty-two to control. The book of Revelation tells about the coming of a new world ruler who will make everyone receive a number on his hand or forehead. No one can do business of any kind without a number. So how does the One World Foundation fit into all this? The Foundation is the most powerful organization in the world today. They control transportation, education, our news media, the banking systems, plus 37% of the world's major industries. And through their grants to our universities, they can control what is taught. Nunca se ve bailando en la pista sola. Llega a montarla con sus amigas gastando en dólar. 